Geometry Dash is a game with tons of interesting and wild facts in it. I'm sure you have seen millions of Geometry Dash facts videos already, however, I decided to take it a step further. I made a list with some of the hardest Geometry Dash questions in it, based on some really interesting facts, and in this video we will see what the most unknown fact out of all of them is. These questions went from really easy to extremely hard, and especially the ones that come later in this video will leave you stunned. Enjoy! I started the quiz off with the simplest question to ever exist. What is the name of the game's creator? Obviously, 98.4% of the people who took this quiz got the first one right, which is Robtop or Robert, which is his actual full name. But this was just an extremely easy question to start the video off. So let's start with the actual unknown facts now. The wave game mode has been used in Geometry Dash for ages and it's known to be one of the most skill-based game modes to ever exist. It is the most used game mode for challenges and it led to some great series popping up on YouTube. However, it wasn't always called the wave and before update 2.0 it actually had a different name. It originally was actually called the dart game mode, which sounds really weird, but because so many people were calling it the wave, Robtop changed it to this name in the 2.0 update. Since 82.4% of the people got this fact right, let's take up the difficulty. What is the smallest song size to ever exist? You might immediately think about some really short song, but it is almost exactly the opposite. There actually is one song that is so small in downloading size that it completely broke the game. The size of this song is only 0.00 megabytes, and you might wonder how long the song is because of this. The weird thing is that it actually is almost 5 minutes long. It apparently is a visual bug on Geometry Dash because the actual size of this song is 9.6 megabytes on Newgrounds and Robtop just didn't feel like fixing it. The song name is Green With Me and it currently is the only song that is as small as 0 megabytes based on my knowledge. Only 53% of the participants knew about this fact, but the next one is much, much more unknown. Everyone knows that Robtop is the game's creator, right? Well, yeah. But did you actually know that it wasn't Robtop who created the game? It indeed was Robert Topo who eventually uploaded it on every platform, but back when he made the game, his account had a completely different name. This account was named Zenmoron, aka Robtop is old. Nobody knew about this since before the trailer was uploaded, barely anyone played the game. The trailer got released in update 1.4, which made the game incredibly popular, and this also was the moment when he changed his name to Robtop, which is the name that we all know him as of right now. The most used song in Geometry Dash. You might think of some famous songs like At The Speed Of Light, which lots of participants answered, but the answer is way more simple than you might think, and it will get even simpler when opening the recent tab. When you open this tab, there are levels that mostly look terrible, and most of these creators have had zero to none experience with the editor. The thing is that in the editor, you must select the song you want to use, and these new players didn't know that, so they forgot about it and tried to upload the level. It still has a song however, when leaving the song choice unselected, and this one is named Stereo Madness, exactly the same song as the first level in the game. I did a calculation on how many times the song has been used by checking the amount of Stereo Madness songs out of 100 recent levels, and over 20 million levels have this song used in them, which is wild. However, this fact is relatively known. The next one is 6 times as rare. It is about the amount of main levels in the history of Geometry Dash. You probably think that this is an obvious answer, just like the biggest part of the quiz answerers, but we have to look closely at the word history. As of right now, there are 21 main levels ranging from Stereo Madness to Finger Dash, without counting the levels from GD World, Sub-Zero, etc. But there is one main level that hasn't been played by a single Geometry Dash player, which is known to be Ultimate Destruction. The reason it has never been played is because it was in the beta version of the game, Robtop later decided to ditch the level since it just wasn't that great and deleted it. A little bit more unknown though is the average amount of levels all users have made in this game on average. And the number really wasn't what I expected, since whenever I check a user I always see tens of weird levels on their account. But the answer is the complete opposite. In one of my previous videos, I came to the conclusion that there are around 25 million people playing the game, 20 million downloaded it on Steam, and 5 million on the Play Store. If we divide the amount of levels by 25 million, we get an average of 3.36, aka an average of around 3 levels. 
the top 100 leaderboard has always been known to be a place where the most dedicated star grinders beat levels to get higher and higher on the leaderboards. These players have tens of thousands of stars and play this game almost 24-7, but this hasn't always been the case. In update 1.3, when the leaderboard came out, there basically were no levels to play. You had a couple of main levels and a few user-made levels, but that was about it. The crazy thing is the following. There actually were players with a one-digit star number on the leaderboard, since the player base wasn't that big back then. And it went as far as the player with the least amount of stars on the top 50 leaderboards only having one star, which is nuts to think about. The next fact probably is one of the weirdest things I have ever heard, and I heard of this fact by complete accident. Only 7 out of 200 people knew this, so be ready. Geometry Dash has always been online to play and for new people to discover it. People always had the chance to download this game and to join this fun community. Which is what 96.5% of the people probably thought. You see, Geometry Radish has actually been completely deleted from the Steam servers for a couple of days. People still were able to play it, just not download it. And it was because of one simple reason. One song out of all the countless ones on GD was copyright striked. Like always, it got blocked in-game, but the owners of that song didn't care and led to the downfall of the game for a short period of time. This happened on July 2021, so it happened pretty recently actually. Okay, the last couple of facts starting from here are so insane that less than 2% of the players knew about them. On the form I made, people could answer the questions, but there was one question that stood out from the rest. I said it was going to be from easy to hard, but one of the last questions went like this. What is the maximum amount of shards you can actually get? The correct answer you would think is 600. 100 for every sort of shard, but this is where you are wrong. With a certain trick, it's possible to get infinite shards and you only need your phone and another device for it. Log out from your current account and log in on the account on another device. Then get some shards there and save. Since there are millions of devices on the world, you can technically get infinite shards like this. All Geometry Dash levels have a different length. A level can be tiny, short, medium, long or extra long, with the level being 2 minutes or longer. This is by far the biggest range of length in the game, since the length can basically extend to extremely long length. Most of these levels aren't legitimately verified by a player though, except for one level. This level is named Desert Boss, and the creator took a little over 6 hours verifying this level in the winning attempt, which is basically the whole afternoon. Only two people knew about this fact, but for the final most unknown fact, only one person out of all the 198 people who seriously answered knew the answer. It is all about this picture right here. You might be able to tell that there's one odd thing about it. It has letters in it that shouldn't be able to be in a Jump Tradition level name, but it goes a lot further than that. The weird thing is that there ghost speculations that Rapta probably made it as a test level, but deleted it later because of the thing that happened after this level had been uploaded. Because of the hashtag character in this level which normally can't be used, the ability of searching unrated or n slash a levels now was impossible to do. It really doesn't matter since it's pretty useless anyway since you have the recent tab for it, but this still is a pretty interesting fact. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe leave a like or subscribe if you want. Goodbye.